So this is frustrating because she meets a guy that checks off like nearly everything on her must-have list, except he's missing one thing that is really turning her off, and she's not sure if she can get over this one physical thing. Dobby's got the email. Hey, Bird Show. First off, thanks for reading this. I do really love the show and all your opinions on various topics, so let's get right into it. I met this guy on Tinder. Thought he was cute, so obviously I right swiped, matched, had a good conversation, seemed to have some similar interests. He asked for my phone number, so we started texting off the app, and it was going well. I liked his personality so far. He seemed to be a very laid back guy, not in a rush, not talking sexually immediately like they normally do when you get on Tinder. He asked me out to get a drink, and I was really excited. I get to the bar, I find him, and he has no teeth. Oh, can, damn. He hasn't. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> well, let me I ask can, you that. Let's ask a philosophical question even before we move on, Christy. Does it matter? <laughs> yeah. Right. So What's if the he, ratio of <laughs> mouth right. teeth? So what, <laughs> what, if, uh, what, if, what if she writes, well, he had three teeth. I mean, is three better than nothing? <laughs> I mean, I am from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> I think three is better than nothing because I had a pappy with no teeth and like we, he could only have like creamed corn and stuff and like, <laughs> but if you've got some teeth, like you can chew broccoli and whatnot. But whenever my mom was mad at him, she would make corn on the cob oh. and he'd get so pissed. <laughs> She'd just put it on his oh, plate all kind of sending. Like be like, there you go, Frank Senior. I'm not gonna okay. lie to y'all. I'm, I'm taking nothing over three. Yeah, yeah nothing I'm, over three? I'm with Mo. Yeah, I'm, I'm with taking Mo. nothing. Yeah. I think you just um, rather gum it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mad gums. Nothing but gums. Over I mean, th- three teeth would, is crazy. I would rather he have three or four. I do not want to have to chew up his food and baby bird him. Like he needs to be able to feed himself. I don't, I'm with Mo. I just think three teeth is way more pathetic than none. <laughs> it is, man. I don't okay. know why, but it is. Okay. I'm, I'm right. glad we spent time on that. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Important. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have. It's It might get worse now. Okay. Uh-huh. I, I could tell immediately while talking to him that he had that grandpa just took my dentures out for the night kind of face, you know? <laughs> I thought, maybe I'm wrong, but the second he said hello and opened his mouth and we talked, I could tell, (laughs) yes, he has no front teeth, top or bottom, whatsoever. And from what I can tell, he only has like the back one or two molars. So that's four guys. (laughs) Okay. All right. He's got four. He's in the money. Not bad. All right. So so officially, I think... He needs a dentist because he's got four teeth. If you have none, you don't have to spend any money on that at all. Yeah. So remind me, <laughs> she's meeting him. Are we out in public or are we in the privacy of his home? No, it's out in public. public. She met him at a bar okay. and she walked up and could tell he had the grandpa look right away. Yeah. And then she sat at the bar. He said hello. And she got like a bird's eye view. Like, yikes, that's <laughs> cavernous in there. Except huh. for those four little teeth going hi in the back. I mean, I, I kind of commend were... his courage. You know what I mean? That he doesn't care what other people think. And so he, he goes out with a... You don't have a choice, Kika. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, no dentures, no partial, does, no nothing. But if it's new, I would, yeah, I would go about my business and pretend it wasn't there. Like if it's a new thing and I'm just getting used to it. And it does take a long time to like get fitted and find yeah. the right everything and find a good dentist. Do you think that she should have been tipped off when they're trying to figure out where to go for a restaurant? He's like, can we just go to a place that only has soft food? <laughs> I can't chew on anything. I want to um, go to Piccadilly. My grandpa loves that place. I'm a, I'm a smoothie guy <laughs> yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> Anything still, through a straw. <laughs> can we meet at Orange Julius? <laughs> you can still have those. Hey, girl, you like soup? <laughs> <laughs> okay, soup thing. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're teeth shaming at this point. We, we are. Got, we are. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got to finish. All right. She's like, one or two molars in the back is all I could see. It was a major turnoff. I went from walking up to him already thinking, wow, this guy's really handsome. And then as soon as I saw the no teeth, I was kind of no longer attracted to him physically. Mm. I stayed for the date because it seemed rude to leave because the date has no teeth. And it went great. We had great conversations. We had a great night. We walked down the street and went to another bar. Never a silent moment. But... I don't know. <laughs> Having no teeth is really throwing me off. We never spoke about it. He never brought it up. And I have no idea how you would bring up something like that. I don't know either. Do you? Yo, where your teeth at? Yeah, or, <laughs> hey, 
You see, there's something a little off tonight. I, can, I, would, I can't quite put my finger. Oh, 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 you got no teeth. I would ask leading questions until he gave me the answer without being rude. I'd be like, so are you a hockey player? This yes. So now, I did work in hockey, and all those yeah. guys are missing teeth. No teeth. Yeah. All of them are. And they used to freak. We used to have them read to kids in elementary schools, and they would pop their teeth out to freak the kids out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids, What's let's that? read the hungry caterpillar. Yes, exactly, Dobby. <laughs> Um, but they this had partials, like they had <laughs> implants and stuff for when they went out in public. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just, yeah, I've never, I've never encountered that where somebody was just letting their gums fly. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody that has no teeth shouldn't be that confident. I admire it. Um, but I, I do, <laughs> I do have to be consistent. I do have to be consistent because earlier in the week we got into some debates. Like I said, like, look, I know 95% of women don't like to date short guys. As a short guy myself, who's 5'4", I understand. I don't take it personally. That is just your preference. So in a case like this, maybe her preference is men that have teeth and not <laughs> men that don't have teeth. He shouldn't even be offended if she doesn't go out again. It's just her preference. She likes teeth. Well, what if it's, what if it's a, a, attributed to his job, like we said with sports and hockey, but also there are a lot of medical illnesses that can take your teeth away within a year. There's diabetes. If you, A lot of people go through chemotherapy and lose hair, but some mm. also lose their teeth. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. There's hypertension. There's all kinds of reason that your teeth can just fall out and it can happen to you young, and it sucks. Okay, how about this? I know you guys don't think guys are this advanced. What if he's testing her to see if she's genuinely interested? And so on his first dates, on his first dates, he goes out without teeth. And if they don't say anything, he's like, "All right, this chick is cool." And then on the second date, he'll bust out the teeth. <laughs> that man gonna have a lonely life. I'm telling you. Right. No, yes, he is. Guys, we got too busy roasting some... this poor man, and there's a whole other paragraph. Do you want? Oh, God. It? oh there uh, is. Yeah, yeah sure, I'm sorry. Sure. No, okay. I'm sitting here thinking this man is like he wants somebody who's the least superficial ever. <laughs> so he's testing the women by not taking and wearing his teeth. No That's chance. Kind of smart. Right. Okay, no let me fly through this last <laughs> paragraph. Right. Okay, right. we waited outside for our Ubers after a couple hours between the two bars. I left first and he never made a move. We didn't kiss or anything. And now the next morning, I just can't decide. Am I really shallow or would this be a normal thing to not want to date someone for? And for the record, he mentioned that he had this fantastic job and he makes a lot of money. The industry that he's in is heavily unionized. So I wouldn't doubt it if he's in the <laughs> union. So I imagine if he wanted veneers or dentures, he could get them easily. Maybe he's already working on it and he just didn't want to bring it up and every part of me wants to see him again because we had a good time but i don't know that i can get past him not having teeth if i'm honest thanks for reading can't wait to hear opinions on this uh, okay uh, I, um if, if i can't fall in love with you if you don't have teeth i can fall in love with you i can fall in love with you, with you while you had teeth but then when they fall out i've already fallen in love with you and i can get past it okay, okay. <laughs> <Save> that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say she goes out again because I think he's he's testing. You crazy? I swear no, that man I ain't gonna have no teeth on the second date. Because I'm telling you right now. You don't think so? <laughs> no, no, I hope so. I hope he's doing that. But, I don't but think he so. might. He might have had his appointment with his dentist this week, and he's got his dentures, and it, he's just gonna pretend like these phantom <laughs> teeth. Like you know, you were seeing things last week, girl. You I would gaslight the hell out of her. That's fine. <sighs> So your advice is what? Yeah, give him another try and yeah. see if he shows up with teeth. And, and what if he doesn't show up with his teeth on the then second date? Then you ask him that, about it. Then you ask him about it. How do you even go a whole date? Like, how do you show up you on your it. date without teeth and you never bring it up and she That's never weird. brings no, it up? How do you do that? This is how you do it. Bert, you're no teeth. Are you ready? Yes, right. I'm ready. Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying. I'm drinking my beer and it's going all over my chest. Stop it. <laughs> don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on. <clears throat> We're on. This is the dumbest show. Ever. Okay, so here we go. Stop smiling, Bert. That's not your strong suit. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay, here you go. All right. Thank you. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen. Wow. Um, you, you are so pretty. Thank you. You look like that <laughs> guy that got his face ate in Silence of the Lambs or whatever. I, I, I feel like the luckiest man on earth. And oh my goodness! <laughs> l listen, I, I have to ask you because I've I've never um, been on a date with somebody who doesn't have their teeth, and I'm just curious why you don't have your teeth. Oh, is it that noticeable? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stop it is. It. I didn't think anybody even noticed. Um. Okay. So <laughs> you just <laughs> oh, now you made me now you made me feel all insecure. Um, I didn't think any nobody has ever brought it up before. <laughs> that is not <laughs> true. Oh I God, honestly you're... think that's a good look for you. Okay. What happens? You... What happens when he goes in for the kiss? 
Oh, it's going to be very sloppy and wet. Bert, you it's look a lot like of space like activities. <laughs> Bird looks like Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, you do. That's exactly what you look <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, dumbest show. The Bird Show. Hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Bird Show for free. We drop new podcasts every weekday, and you can find us anywhere: Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.